Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Mindset Matters with Sandra video. And today I'm going to be talking about limiting beliefs, especially now in the United States. We are in holiday season. And many times when we're in holiday season, this means we're either uh, receiving relatives in our home or we're traveling, going to visit them. It also means family gatherings and food preparations and sometimes being in in large crowds and small spaces, and this can increase stress. We can be excited about being with family or friends during the holiday season. This can also mean an, mean an increase of triggers. You know, we can start looking at ourselves in a certain way when we are comparing ourselves or when we're having dialogue. Maybe somebody will remember something that wasn't pleasant to us, but they didn't remember. Thus, the triggers and the limiting beliefs of all kinds of things, unworthiness or, you know, self-esteem issues or, you know, seeing that cousin or that sibling that you haven't seen in a while that, you know, just stirred up a lot of stuff when you were a kid. I'll give you three tips. The first tip is identify what your limiting belief is. Just because we have proofs and references of something that happened before doesn't mean it's going to happen again. What stories are you telling yourself with this limiting belief? And by the way, we all have limiting beliefs. You know, nobody is completely perfect. And this is why we can apply a system like Faster EFT, where we can go into the memory, update it and change it, right? Because when we go to the memory and look at how we are um, remembering it, uh, through the tapping system and through defrax, we're able to change it so that we can update and realign with really who we are today. The second tip is challenge yourself when it comes to these limiting beliefs. Is it true? Is, write down what makes you think that your limiting belief is actually true today. Using a system like Faster If T and Tapping on those past references allows us to, like I was saying before, update and align ourselves. And when we challenge that, we're able to kind of look at where our fears are. So it's really important that you write these down. And the third tip is once you have identified and once you have um, challenged yourself, the last step would be to replace or reframe that limiting belief with something that you do desire to experience yourself. Because remember, if we have a limiting belief that usually resides, I mean, it can be conscious and unconscious, but when we have uh, a limiting belief that's hindering us from do actioning out or being a certain way, replacing it with a positive affirmation is not going to be helpful. That's why we want to go to step number two, which means we want to see what those references are and tap on that, tap on the memory to begin updating and changing it to really what we do want, where that memory, that false memory, that false story that we've been telling ourselves, that false narrative um, no longer um, is driving our emotions and triggering us in the present moment. And if you have any questions, comment below. I also want to say November 21st, uh, we have a great uh, free web event. I'll be putting the link there. Please join us. You can register for both because it's free or one. We have a European time zone and then we have a central uh, evening time zone. You do have to register pass that information to other people who would be interested. And the subject um, is actually psychological projections. And I'll be having my friend, colleague, and co-host uh, Jennifer Hewitt uh, with us on those two calls. So we'll see you then. Take care.